What's going on everybody? This is Midnight Bacon and today I am going to be starting a new survival series and I'm going to be playing in an amplified world. So uh, as you can see here, it's a you know really, really big uh, terrain and for those of you who don't know exactly what amplified terrain is, it's um, uh, well first of all on PC Minecraft uh, there's now a new option where you can make terrain amplified and now what that does it basically just takes your uh, ordinary, typical kind of uh, biomes, such as like forest or desert, swamp, etc., and it makes it bigger and better. It's just really crazy, and big mountains everywhere. Basically, and it's insane, honestly. Now, um, I got this map through. Uh, uh, it was converted from PC to Xbox using Oprise LP's mod tool, so I want to give a huge shout out to him for uh, making this possible. And um, so yeah, I'm going to be playing on hard difficulty for this series. And yeah, I, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with a base in uh, this world. Uh, hopefully, I can do something above ground. Uh, maybe like you know do a bunch of stuff in the mountains and whatnot, but we'll see if any of you guys have some suggestions yeah, suggestions then uh, please feel free to uh, Leave them down in the comments so uh, uh, I guess that's about that and uh, I'll start off with uh, again the basic tools and whatnot so uh, all right let me get some wood now um, So yeah, uh, I oh geez, I really don't know what I'm gonna do here, and this, this is gonna be—I've never played on hard difficulty before, so it uh, should be pretty exciting. Uh, there might be a lot of death. I don't know exactly how this is gonna play out, um, and I haven't uh, explored this world uh, yet. I've done a tiny little bit of flying around, uh, just kind of get an idea of what it's like, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So uh, right here we got a pretty uh, pretty sweet looking lava uh, lava fall and a waterfall coming into a stream or a lake or not lake a uh, river. Um, all right, so there's just there's really so much around here, guys. So I don't know what exactly I should do first. Um, I mean, I'd love to explore and look around and whatnot, but I mean we gotta yeah you know we gotta establish some things first. Um, it looks like it's already becoming nighttime, maybe, so that's not good. I don't have uh, any gear yet, so I should probably get uh, working on that. And uh oh, where am I going here? I feel like I'm getting myself uh, stuck somewhere. Oh, we got some sugar cane. That's good. I'll uh, make sure to make a, a re farm. Um, that will definitely come in handy later on. Alright. Very good. Awesome. So, let me go. Let me go this way. Uh, oh wow! I am low on food already. That's that's not good either. Uh, let me make myself a crafting table, and I'll make a pickaxe probably. And I might have to dig my way underground for the meantime and uh, kind of set up camp in a in the side somewhere. Uh, make some stone pickaxe now. Get that coal. That'll be nice. Make some torches. Um. Yeah, guys, I don't know if some of you may have known that I did, like, uh, maybe two or three episodes on a, another, uh, single-player Let's Play World before, uh, that I started, but I never really, you know, didn't have any kind of desire to keep doing that, I don't know, but this world, it, uh, it seemed like it'd be really enjoyable and fun to do, um, with a lot of challenges and different kind of, uh, you know, mechanics, different gameplay, which I thought would be really interesting. Um, so I figured I'd give it a go, and hopefully I can keep this going for a while. Um, now I do, now most of you I'm sure are uh, also having school, but I, uh, I do have school. Now I will only be able to upload on weekends most likely. Um, hopefully I can get uh, an up one of these episodes out every weekend, that would be ideal. Um, but yeah, sorry guys, I can't really make uh, too many promises about that. And let me make myself some torches for the time being. And all right, so I guess we'll get a move on here. Um, really don't want to be stuck in one place at a time for too long. Don't want to give mobs a chance to uh, bombard me. 
And I gotta be careful now because I don't have any food. And I am very, very low on hunger. Um, Alright, so let me get to the top of the waterfall here and hopefully we can come out to a clearing somewhere. Uh, let's see what we have to work with. Alright, so... Looks like I might be at the edge of the world there. I'm not sure. Um, oh, there's a cow up there. That's good. Maybe I can go... Oh, the skeleton. I don't want to go through here just yet. Um, man, I don't even have any wool either. I don't see any sheep around. I can't make a bed to uh, skip today. So that's not very uh, it's not very good. And Oh, here we go. We got a cow. This should be nice. Get some beef. And... Nice, did we get any? Two. Alright, very good, very good. Now, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna need to get some more cobble real quick. Let me just dig my way into the side of this mountain here. Um, set up a little camp just for the time being. Um, now, I think in hard mode, I'm not sure, but hunger might run out quicker than other modes. I'm not sure. Don't, um, you know, don't take my word on that. Uh, this is my first time ever playing hard, in case I didn't mention that. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be just as surprised with uh, some things as you guys will be, probably. <laughs> um, all right, so very nice. Got some beef here, and I'm also gonna need to collect some uh, the uh, leather. I'm gonna need to keep that on me because I'm gonna need that for books later on, and of course you need books for uh, bookcases. And that will definitely be needed for um, enchanting room. Yeah. So, okay, I'm done with that now. I guess I'm gonna move on. Um, I really, there's not a whole lot I can do by bur burrowing away in a hole somewhere because I don't have anything on me. There's nothing to do. So for now, I'm gonna keep moving. Um, I don't wanna go caving just yet. Um, I'll save that for another day. So, alright, here we go, let's uh, get around here, and I think it was through the hole there somewhere, I saw a cow on the other side over there, maybe, hopefully I can get to him, and get some more leather and food on me, and I just wanted to see this hole, maybe sure there's nothing in the opening, um, if I do pass like a little cave area, or like an opening somewhere, and I see some iron or coal or something that would be useful, then, you know, of course I'm gonna stop in to get that, but otherwise I'm not gonna dig down and go mining just yet. And uh, we got a zombie. I going to want to avoid him as much as possible and I also need to be on the lookout for um, other mobs. And let me get this turn around. See there? Oh, oh he's close. Alright, so hopefully we can kill him. It'd be great if you dropped some uh, a potato or a carrot maybe um, that would be very useful we can make a one of those farms for those and come on let's go take you one come on come on anything hmm I'm not sure I got anything from him uh, oh well you win some you lose some all right so let me finish getting this coal and we'll get a move on again uh, I think for these episodes, I might make it around 20 minutes per episode for the time being. Um, unless, of course, it becomes more popular and you guys want more or, if, you know, I have more time to do it, then maybe eventually I'll, uh, you know, make longer uh, videos, longer episodes of this. But for now, it's going to be relatively short. Alright, almost done with the coal here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think ideally the biome that I'd want to build in would probably be, I know I don't know if there's any jungle, uh, amplified jungle in this map, but if there is, then that might be really cool to, um, explore and try to build in. And I see it, ooh, skeleton. Uh, yep. Alright, well I see a dog here, that's cool. Uh, I don't have any bones, sadly just yet to uh, get him, but maybe eventually we can get a pet, and I'll take these reeds of course real quick, very nice, um, now also guys, I might be doing like a lot of sort of 
parkour in a way because um, as you can see the terrain is very very rugged and there's a lot of high spots and whatnot so I'm gonna have to be jumping around um, in many places in order to uh, get from uh, point A to point B just want to give you guys a heads up for that and all right, hopefully I can make my way to the top somewhere um, without having to dig too much out and oh, uh oh, okay, that wasn't too far of a drop. I thought I fell a little bit more there. Um, okay, here we go, here we go. This is a good jump here. All right, and of course, got to be on the lookout. Let me make myself a sword real quick. Actually, that'd probably be a really good idea. Um, like that, and you know, I'll make a shovel as well, and that will be good. Let me make that torch there. Okay, good. Nice. Alright, now I'm also going to need to get um, some more wood at some point. I don't necessarily need it right now. Um, okay, so that's good. We'll get a move on. Oh, what's that over there? Fire. Must be a lava pit nearby. Oh, there's another dog. And uh, I guess... Hmm. Oh, I know what happened here. Um, so here's the edge of the world here. And I guess there must have, been, must have been a tree, yeah, I'm sure there were trees right on the edge. So, uh, the leaves got cut off from the tree here. And, um, yeah, oh, look at that. And I don't know if you can see that in the distance there, but there's a really tall mountain there. Um, that's cool. And I think that is O-Prize's, um, watermark there in the sky. I'm not sure. It looks, yeah, it looks like that to me. Um, so those are, of course, going to be in the corners because, you know, this, uh, oh. Uh, his tool was used to convert this map. And I get any string from him? No. Dang it, didn't look like it. Well, oh well, got an apple, that's good. And, alright, up this way. Let's get out of these trees here. And I don't, I don't think there are any villagers or not. I'm not sure exactly. But, um, can't make any promises on that. And, okay, let's get this guy out of here. Come on. Knock it off. Uh oh. This isn't good. Uh oh. No. I wanna die. Oh. Dang it. Okay, okay, let's see. I think I went. Um. This way. Wait, where's that one lava? It wasn't that lava stream, it was over here somewhere, I think. And I know I went around the edge of the world somewhere. I think it was this side. I'm not exactly sure. No, wait. It doesn't look right. Was it that way? May have been that way. Uh, hopefully we can get our stuff back. I definitely want to get my map back at least. That would be cool. I mean, of course I can make another one later on, but that'll still take a little bit more time. Um, Alright, uh, now if, let's see. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I remember that one lava stream I was talking about before, and oh, there's a sheep. Maybe I can kill him with my uh, fist real quick at that wool. Save that. Awesome. All right, all right, so let's go, let's go. Now, I don't know if the chunks are out of range, but if they are, then that means that um, my stuff should be safe. Otherwise, I have, I think, five minutes until it'll despawn. Uh, I could be going the complete opposite way. Um, I honestly have, have no way of telling. Uh, oh yes, I'm going the right way. Okay. So I went that way. Hmm. I think I went that way. Alright, little fall damage, not too bad. Uh, let's go. <laughs> so off to a pretty uh, crazy start here, guys. Um, I'm sure you're going to be seeing a lot more of that in uh, future episodes, um, and I do apologize if, that, apologize if that happens, but, I mean, that's just how the game works, you know? Not much I can do about it. Um, I mean, there's, of course, stuff I can do about it by getting get a better gear and whatnot, but we're just going to have to see how it plays out. Uh, I think I went this way, yeah, I went up this way. Alright, so I'm on the right trail. That's a good sign. Um, I don't want to sprint too much because I'm running low on hunger again. I guess 
you know, if you don't eat something in a while, I guess your hunger, uh, I mean, like, yeah, after just respawning or whatever, I guess your hunger diminishes pretty quickly. So that's something that uh, I'm going to need to take into account. Uh, hopefully I can get some farms going on. Um, I think my best bet, ooh, I'm going to get out of here. That's not a good way to go. Um, I think my best bet of food for now might have to be um, bread by making a wheat farm because I don't see a whole lot of animals around and of course I'm also going to need to wait until uh, I kill zombies to get uh, potatoes and carrots because otherwise I can only get those from villages and as I said I don't know if there are any villages around um, okay so I think I'm going maybe I'm going the right way now uh, yes, yeah, so I crossed here. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. I went this way and this way, and I remember I crossed over there. And then from there I went... Okay, I remember these dogs. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of more dogs over here, so that's something to uh, keep in mind for the future when I have more bones and whatnot. And, all right, this is good. I think I'm just about back to where I was. I think I'm going to eat this beef raw to, just for the time being. And how did I get up there? Okay, I went this way. Uh-huh, yep. Very good. Alright, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, so, almost there. My stuff should still be there. Um, hopefully that, skel uh, that skeleton despawned. Um, I should have been out of range, so he should be gone by now. Otherwise, I'm going to be in some trouble. And all right, good. I got my stuff back. Whew. That was a relief. <laughs> all right, so let me reorganize here a little bit. Uh -huh, get stuff situated. Get it how I like it. All right. Uh -huh, yep, yep, yep. That's good. Alright, so that should be good for now, and I need to go get some more food. Now, is there anything I'm missing? Nope. Alright, so let me break some of this, get some seeds, I suppose. Use these later on. Um, maybe I might have to chop down some trees to get some apples. That might be a good idea. Let me get a axe, make things faster for me. Yeah, let me eat this apple. I'm gonna put that right, yeah, there. All right, very good. Chop down this tree real quick. Get that wood. Um, I might chop down other other trees in this area. Hopefully, by the time I'm done chopping trees. Uh, enough leaves should despawn, dropping some, uh, hopefully I get some apples, and saplings will also be uh, very good, come in handy for later on. Make a tree farm wherever I uh, end up making a base. Um, Alright, so I will do that. And hmm, how much do I have now? 22. Alright, so... Oh, another thing, I don't know if I'll be able to get melons. Hopefully, now melons, uh, typically in Minecraft Xbox 360, you can only get melons uh, in mineshaft, uh, uh, in mineshaft in a uh, uh, mine, uh, what's it called, a chest minecart, um, excuse me. So yeah, so uh, sometimes you get my, uh, melon seeds in a uh, minecart chest, but uh, again, I have no idea if there's any of those in this world. Um, so otherwise, so I might not get any um, melons unless I can find a villager somehow and uh, trade with him to get melons. Um, but that might be a long shot. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out eventually. But for now, uh, I just got some basics to stick to. And alright, where are these trees that I just chopped down? There's one over here, some here. Alright, well, uh, I'm probably gonna be chopping down some trees here, getting some other materials, 
But that's gonna about do it for this first episode of Hardcore Amplified Survival. Um, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.